Okay. Okay, we are here on August 23rd. We are here with Jim. Jim just said hello. We're here with Harriet. Hello, guys. And this is our second take on a video. We just had an amazing thing happen, and the video somehow didn't record. So we're doing this again. So we learned that Jim is now able to lift his legs off the bed. So at any point when he's able to do that, look at this, look at this. He can oh lift his God. legs up off the bed. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, look, okay. This is amazing. All right, relax, relax and that's breathe. Hard work, this is such hard work because he's lying in a bed that's kind of lifted up towards his legs. So any one of us in a healthy condition would have a hard time lifting our legs up from that position. And he just very clearly lifted his legs up off of the bed, which is amazing. This, this, this came from a place of being told more than four years ago that he was destined to live with locked-in syndrome until his last breath, that there was no hope for locked-in syndrome. And a year ago, a few of us decided to come here. We learned about his situation, and we decided to come and do all that we could for this brilliant man whose mind was never impacted by the stroke that left him with locked-in syndrome. His wit, his humor, his kindness, his compassion just, just pours from him. And with locked-in syndrome, the only thing he was able to move was his eyes. And that was a year ago when we came in and saw him like that. In this past year, because of his amazing strength and courage and love and all the prayers and love and support he's getting from what started out to be a small team, we call it the A team for his advocacy team, a small team of four of us is now growing in leaps and bounds as his story is beginning to be told and shared with others. Jim is determined to recover fully from locked-in syndrome. There are others who have been courageous enough to do this as well. They may be far and few between, but we're hoping by sharing this video and sharing this information that others who find themselves with this situation will know that there is hope regardless of what anyone else tells them. There's always hope. Our bodies have an amazing ability to heal. And between the power of love and the power of prayer and people's spirit and commitment to reaching out and giving others a hand up, we expect to see miracles continue for Jim. He's now able to speak some words. He's now able to frog. It's a hard word. He's now able to say hello. Oh, that was perfect. And there's other things that he's being helped with by a, a wonderful young man named Ben comes in, a pre-med student who's helping him three times a week and volunteering his time. We have volunteers that come in and visit with him and read to him and share the stories. And we made a commitment to Jim last year that he couldn't get to the world, we were going to bring the world to him. So we're encouraging everyone who's watching these videos and these updates, please share Jim's story. Please encourage others to reach out. Do whatever you can in any way that you can. Every single effort and energy put forth to his healing is as important as the next. So we really encourage that. I'm going to ask <coughs> Harriet if Harriet would like to say something as well. Uh, I will just reiterate what I keep saying is that we are motivated deeply to work with Jim because it is not we who inspired this, it is he who inspires all of us. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to say we thank just, you before we just, sign off. Or just say goodbye. Say goodbye. Uh, bye. We love you. Oh.